Poco SI or the Redmi Note 12 Turbo, Elite Hyper OS Hyper Elite Light, Elite Hyper Light OS 1.0.5.0 based on that. And if I go into detailed information specification, again Elite version you can see. Android version 14 and July security patch, which is latest available for Poco FI, the Redmi Note 12 Turbo. Kernel user is 5.10.198 and 12900085. That you can read. This is the kernel used. I'll come back here. This is typical settings panel. Unlike the previous uh, video, what I have made you wrong, it's a little bit different here. You also see the me account and downside you also get that customizations i will be explaining within the while before that you get interconnectivity options that i forgot to explain in the previous video but it's quite uh, similar to any other hyperos roms you get all the necessary options and more connectivity options you get hotspot type mode vpn private dns and also sharing casting printing wireless display and other options you can check out on the screen guys and here he light customizations light you can can see light rom light rom here based on hyperos 1.0.5.0 get next generation gaming roms if you press here you get all the paid versions of this roms if you want you can definitely try them out lock refresh rate option is there if you remove this i'll show you with any while in the pubg mobile what all the graphic settings we get stay tuned for the full video Again, colored notification icons. If you want, you can disable them or enable them from here. Me account menu on top. If you want it, you can enable or disable from here again. Blur in recent panels. Again, this has been added here in the light customizations. Light theme server. You can choose. This is a very good thing, guys. If you want to choose some particular area themes only, then you can select from this. It's a very handy feature. You will definitely love it once you use that. Charging animation again you get some of the options here and again these number of notification icons and mags icons and launch dog toggle count and toggle count and expanded mu 11 panel and row count you can adjust the intensity of it different preset will give different look again bluetooth and even the stereo speakers are working fine in this room no problem regarding that what are some personalizations again these lock screen customizations which are hyper -wise. Major change this is if you want, you can use them as a uh, routine log screens here. If you want a custom wallpaper, you can keep it out. And some of the pre installed wallpapers, unlike in the EU round, these you need to manually download. Guys, here if you press the download also, it will not get downloaded. You need to manually install these separate apps available, then you can get access of these live wallpapers. That's the only downside, they would have been included within the ROM, anyhow. And again, these are the wallpapers pre-shoot. Some of them are missing here. Actually, hyperis based wallpapers are available, but not many. Let me know in the comment section what type of wallpapers are missing. Again, theme section, as I said, you can select more from different reasons, guys. Icons, again, you get these options of background color and style. Again, it depends on the theme you install. And icon size, you can completely increase or decrease the Icon size from here again fonts in the previous video I kept different font no one commented about that anyhow we'll get different fonts from here you can manually download them this and handy feature again effects you get this kind of effects I had sometimes like this or else light up screen it depends upon you again and no more features and effects here they would have been added from many years I am seeing only these options they would have been added anyhow and always on display again you get always options here as you can see and based on the wallpaper and you can select based upon the live wallpaper it displays out or presets you will get n number of options here and also based upon the lock screen also you will get always on display again you get necessary options lock screen again all the necessary options are given double tap to wake or turn off screen let's do this yeah wake is there I'll show you with an email how to enable in the step also. Again, regarding notification status bar, again, you can select these options. I can style if you want oval style, you can get it console center style. This remains very similar, guys. Nothing has been changed in this settings. And display settings again, dark mode implementation. I am really liking it. And individual apps and switch dark mode and adjust text and background to 
automatically dark colors are available here light mode again i will disable the auto brightness you will get sunlight mode here extra dim color scheme features are also given here you can adjust them reading mode intensity scheduling everything has been given a imagine engine you get four different options here enhance images super resolution if you want you can enable that hdr enhancement motion emotion motion control also you can enable or disable from here again and refresh rate you get sorry refresh rate you get custom options around 16 90 120 keep it default only and sound and touch again you get all the necessary options like additional settings and sound effects dolby atmos has been included here graphic equalizer and these you can customize them as and buttons touch I and mean, it's very similar to any of the hyper storms home screen customizations very similar again I get all the necessary options with tab drawer, classic mode, app wall settings, minus one screen you can select from here, search bar product, just Google is available anyhow. If you install apps, you'll get number of options. I mean, double tap to lock screen. Now it will work, but only in the QS panel. Hope so. No, it's not all working. Maybe. Yeah, double tap to lock screen simply not working here home screen layout you get up to uh 4 into 6 to yeah 8 into 22 don't touch text on anywhere widgets you can enable them here system navigation and buttons gestures you get it animations but i always keep it fast and recent type i style you will get it as you can see unlike in the eu mode you only get uh vertical and horizontal but here you'll get ios recent also you can see the memory here this is the thing about home screen again fingerprint face unlock i'll add the face unlock in front of you guys check out again if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also under the bell notification by pressing the bell icon i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos only if you like the videos guys unlock using face data and stay on lock screen disable that and in the fingerprint unlock just remove it to touch here not to press it takes time okay now let's see fingerprint unlock speeds you guys can see it's very very speeds guys and also the face unlock is even faster than the fingerprint unlock what you can expect from any fast smart phone and battery again you get four different options here uh battery life is excellent i can say it's much better than eu rom i don't know why a little bit uh, you get extra juice here when compared to the you later strong here again it will be very hard to you understand that difference but i have noticed that again this is the additional settings i previously explained in the video you get all the nice options like game turbo mode and again we'll go accessibility menu which is my personal favorite again quick ball i already explained that one hand in mode screen recorder again game turbo floating windows which is a very handy feature that's why people stick to this hyper roms memory extension of 8 gb is there for some reason i have disabled that light mode and second space is given account dancing enterprise mode this remains very similar i will show some results i guess many people waiting for this and to benchmark results could have been better but the gps score is nearly here and temperature raise was around 2.6 degrees celsius three percentage of battery has been dropped anyhow this 1136 single score of Geekbench and 420 rate of multi score is very good. I can say, Leaks 5.10.198 kernel has been used. And basic integrity and CTS performance both getting passed and device is also certified. And second is all the payment applications without any worry, guys. And Dolby Vision certification and level 1 certification is also done. Hence, watching OTT application is also not at all a problem in this round, guys. On internet speed connection using my Intel Fiber, it is 200 Mbps, but it's pulling up to 240. And this is with BSNL, guys. As you can see, 4G has been enabled from BSNL. As you can see, once 5G is enabled in my channel, I'll be making dedicated review on that. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to my channel, guys. And these are the internet speed test with the graph and numericals. And this is charging speed around 86 percent the time was 4 44 pm and 4 47 it is 90 percent this is how the charging speeds guys very good responsive you also get me video pre-installed music some of them you can understand these are the tools and you guys can see the animation here 
you think i'm really liking it camera again you get this kind of camera not a uh, leica integrated i think some of them should add the leica integrated at least in the light roms not if not in the eu roms again and like you guys can see all the nice options are all one there is a dedicated whatsapp group for this particular smartphone guys the poco f5 5g or the redmi note 12 turbo you can join that group it will be very much beneficial for example if you don't want to use this camera app if you want to use any lmc egc or some other jcam ports i already made a dedicated video also you can check out here i will be leaving cards are also you can check out my separate playlist available for poco f5 in my channel guys this on the apps i'm using security again it's a kind of looks like me obvious it should be horizontal something different in hyperos but anyhow this is not updated and i think same it also get call recording in the dialer that's not a problem here very similar to what you can expect in hyperos roms again everything is fine here app opening and even file manager everything is updated let's see the pubg mobile what are the graphics settings we get and how it handles in this particular rom and this is the thing i was explaining ultra extreme frame rates i mean the 120 you can see current frame that is 120 and this all the game turbo mode you get performance mode enable that you also get screen recording options here and you also get these options like bright saturated bright and saturated i like this one both and watch changer options are also available here and brightness slider if want to can enable that again this is the ultra extreme frame rate supported rom base the gaming rom and this is all in tiny as it tends to even in the front attacks there is not a ton in lag in this UI and the gaming experience is not level in this cancel you guys can see the experience of the game here tell it a fan live got killed the gaming experience this much of smooth gameplay i haven't seen in recent times guess in any of this smartphone of course i use iphone 15 pro max that is having very good but still after a long time i'm seeing in the android smartphone the smoothness and the gameplay is really really good world scene is unstoppable the next is some grenades okay i'll come back at that's the gaming experience in this rom base i'm really happy with the gaming experience whatever we get in this particular rom and this is quick settings toggle and the edit section you also get these options performance mode location dolby atmos trading mode again in front you can add them and all sync yeah i'll disable yeah location is disabled this are the gaming experience in this particular rom and core features of hyper is like if you disable or turn on the siren mode you'll get the dynamic island again if you enable you'll get that those things are available here i'm really liking this particular rom guys I haven't faced any issues in this rom internet connectivity everything is working fine even call quality is also fine here until this point if you watched this video i'm really happy to say that this is a very good rom you can definitely try it out as a daily driver guys and if you have any specific questions in this particular rom comment down in the comment section this is sampath you watching sampath sam effects youtube channel we'll wait with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now